Yeah, sure. So I think it's important to note that you know we submitted our plan of operations regarding Velvet Wood about 13 months ago. Uh, we'd had a fair amount of back and forth with BLM to make sure that we had all the information required uh, in the plan of operations. Um, and then we did uh, come across the executive orders, uh, which talked about expedited permitting. And so we approached uh, BLM and asked about you know the possibility of submitting Velvet Wood as one of the candidates for um, expedited permitting. Uh, BLM was, uh, I think, pretty excited about the prospect, given that BLM was very familiar with our file. Um, you know, we've done a lot of work with them uh, on Velvet Wood, and so thought it would be, you know, an ideal candidate to be submitted. And so, you know, we went through the process. Uh, we were accepted pretty quickly, and uh, as you can see, you know, we did get our permit, uh, you know, within 14 days. So it was a pretty exciting um, time for us. Look, I think this provides recognition um, of the world-class asset that Velvet Wood is. You know, it's a past-producing mine. Uh, it's got a low impact in terms of uh, environmental um, you know, uh, issues related to mining. Uh, we, we do like the fact that uh, we're now being recognized by the U.S. government uh, in terms of a potential supplier of uranium uh, in the near term. Uh, it also kind of you know, shows that we've got other assets within the portfolio, which could potentially go through the same permitting process um, you know, relatively quickly. As I mentioned in the past, we have you know, strictly uh, you know, developing mines, mines which have past production, a historic resource or current resource in place. So uh, we're not a greenfield company, we're a brownfield company. So that puts us in a, a different category when it comes to you know, expedited permitting or the possibility of expedited permitting. Uh, and then on to you know, the mill itself. So, you know, having meetings with Department of Interior, Department of Energy, uh, Exxon Bank, uh, you know, the NRC, you know, to look to move forward the other pieces within the portfolio, for example, shearing, uh, the license, you know, we submitted our license application over a year ago. Um, you know, the possibility of getting funding for both the mines and the mill, you know, through the government. These are all things that uh, have been opened to us as a result of the executive orders and our meetings with uh, the government. So um, I, think, I think it's important to note that we are, you know, $100 million Canadian company right now in terms of uh, market cap. The NPV from our PEA that was put out in 2023 was about uh, $238 million US. So we traded a significant discount to that NPV. And once again, that included Shearing Canyon Mill, Velvet Wood, and Slick Rock. Uh, we have a number of other assets within our portfolio, which can also be included um, in future PEAs. So we'd expect to see that NPV grow. Uh, we also know that the capacity at the mill, the throughput capacity of the mill is going to be expanded. We've applied for an expansion from 750 tons per day to 1,000 tons per day. We've also looked, applied for an increase in our production capacity from a million pounds per year to three million pounds per year. So when we include uh, those figures, we'll expect to see you know, a significant uh, bump up in terms of NPV versus our existing market cap. Uh, when we look at our peers like UEC, we traded roughly $250 per pound to $500 per pound based on you know, what you think their actual capacity would be. Uh, energy fuels probably trade about $125 per pound uh, you know, even if we were to use the smallest number, you know, our implied value would be about $375 million in terms of market cap U.S. So we're trading at, you know, 20% uh, of that right now. So five times kind of the smallest number. Obviously, if we were looking at the numbers with uh, UBC, you know, we're significantly higher. Uh, you know, maybe it's, you know, 20 times, uh, you know, the high end in terms of where our value could go. But you know, once again, you know, it's not linear. But there's still some work that has to be done uh, at the mill to refurbish it. But certainly, I think it does, it does imply that there's significant upside value in the story.